You never know when you need it. All right, good afternoon, everyone. We appreciate you taking the time. Welcome to the first Zoom for the Atlanta Dream 2024 season. So we're going to start with some updates from GM Dan Padover, and then we'll go into questions. Awesome. Thanks, Liam. Um, thanks, everybody, for jumping on. Uh, really, really excited to get this season going. A uh, few updates. Um, so we have everybody here in camp in Atlanta except Lorella Kubai. She's still uh, playing in Italy. Um, one roster update, we will be signing Destiny Henderson to a training camp contract later today. Uh, and we also have one injury. Jordan Canada is currently out with a right hand injury. Uh, we have a further update as far as timeline back. We will let you know. So I got. All right, we'll keep things off with uh, Megan Hall. Go ahead, Megan. You there, Megan? Need it. There we go. I got it now. <laughs> hey, Coach. Hey, Dan. Good to see both of you. Uh, Coach, well, my Megan. first question is for you. Um, did you get all that sleep that you were talking about that you wanted <laughs> to take after the end of the season? I got, I got tons. I got tons of sleep, Megan. I got tons of sleep. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm refreshed, <laughs> and I'm ready to go for this next season. So appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, but on a more serious note, wanted to talk to you about Jordan Canada. Obviously, that's a really big offseason acquisition. Um, where do you foresee Jordan's role with this team, and and how she can help lift the team? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we went out, we went out and got Jordan, um, and so we see Jordan as a you know our starting point guard here, um, somebody who offensively can help push the tempo, push the pace, who can lead. Obviously, Jordan's been in the league for a few years now, had some starting jobs, played exceptionally well last year. Um, so, obviously, we see that. Defensively, we know how um, stout Jordan is on the defensive end and the ability to guard multiple players on the perimeter um, and different things like that. So, Jordan's going to be a big piece to what we're doing. We're excited to have her. We'll go to Mark. Mark, go ahead. Hey, y'all. First off, thanks for making the time. Um, question for both of you, and I'll start with UT, but, um, you know, I know – Obviously, yep, last year being year two of building this thing up was a lot about kind of building off year one and, and finding your way while, while fighting through adversity and competitiveness. What does year three look like? Like, how do you guys kind of build off of last year? And, and what maybe is the biggest thing you take away from last year headed into this year? Yeah, I think, you know, year three for us is obviously continuing to build. Like, we can never um, we can never stray away from that. There's always opportunity to grow and opportunity to get better. But I think it's it's taking the next step to that upper echelon. I think we, we got a taste of, um, you know, what it feels like to be in the playoffs and, and to see the playoff atmosphere. And so for us, I think it's just uh, holding ourselves to a, to a higher standard in terms of what our what our ability and what our talent can go out there and do um for this for this next season so competing at the highest level always I think that's really important I think we put together a solid team that can help us do that this year we'll jump to Michael Bifel. go ahead yeah um I was wondering if you guys sort of have an update in terms of either three draft picks from overseas just what you think of uh their chances of playing this season are uh, and then if I'll, also I, I could ask just in terms of from a leadership standpoint, how big a factor do you think Tina Charles can be for this team this year? Yeah, I'll start with the international question. Um, so uh, all three will not be coming over um, this season. Um, we were fortunate enough to have Pooch here in Atlanta after the draft and spend some really quality time with her and her mom and kind of show her what all, we're all about. And I think she's super excited about coming over and joining us in the future. Um, and we've been in a lot of contact, had a lot of conversations with both Borlais and Bia as well. Um, and we're just excited to be able to have some future assets for this team. Um, we're really excited about how competitive we're gonna be this year, but we wanna make sure that we can stay competitive year over year and having those three assets in our organization is gonna help with that. Um, Dee, I'll let you take the team question. Yeah, um, Tina comes just with a wealth of experience. I mean, she's an Olympian. She's been an all-star. She's played at the highest level. So that type of experience in itself lends to leadership, right? So she's she's been places our young group hasn't been. So to have somebody um, with that experience being able to pour into our, our young kids is going to be really valuable. 
I'll just add, we just watched practice and she's still one of the best post players. <laughs> Thank you. We'll go to Emmanuel Glaze. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Hey, Coach. Hey, Dan. Um, real quick, Coach, with the uh, with Ari and Monique coming out, what do you see for Haley and um, L.A. coming this year and their importance to this team since they're going into their second year and we saw glimpses of the what they can do? What do you expect out of them this year? Yeah, I expect year two to be a year of growth for them, right? Um, a year of opportunity because they've they've have a year now under their belt. Um, you know, with with Haley, Haley and LA both played AU, so they got some some other experience in terms of this off season um, with competing, and I thought they both played pretty well in AU. Um, and so, excuse me, I see it as a year of growth for 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 both of them, um, and I'm really excited about. Um, their opportunity to really compete this year. And Dan, if you don't mind, real quick, the, the roster, um, it's been, it's, the nucleus has been together for a couple of years now to see them growing. Being able to, do you feel like you added the pieces you needed to um, with Tina, with Jordan, and now, um, I forget you just named the, the Destiny, coming in to help out that this team could make a, a bigger jump this year than yeah. uh, last year. Was. yeah. I'll add Ariel in there, obviously. So I, I think there's a lot of talk around, um, you know, the additions of, of Tina and Jordan and Ariel, and we're all excited about all three of them. Um, but to your first point, we're also really excited about another jump for the crew that's been together. Um, and I think, you know, we see, you know, whether it's Ryan or Nas or Haley or Leash, all these players, Nia, these players that have been with us, they got a taste of the postseason last year. And I think, there's a seriousness, there's a competitiveness, there's a hunger about them now, um, having been with us for a little while, that we think that combined with the new additions um, is going to make us even more competitive this year. Thank you. We'll finish up with Edwin Powell. Go ahead, Edwin. Good afternoon, uh, both of you. This question is for Dan. Uh, and this kind of uh, piggybacking on Emmanuel's question about the roster. When the season ended last year, you bring in such people like Tina and, and Jordan and Ariel. Was there like a certain specific, uh, specific type of uh, player that you wanted to add to this roster? Did you want to get bigger? Did you want to get stronger? Did you want to get faster? Like what was the goal when last year ended and when you wanted this team to be this year? Yeah, we wanted, we wanted some proven players. Um, we wanted people that we knew we could plug in. They have a skill set that they've done in this league before and they'd be, immediately be able to help us. Um, we didn't um, we, we have certain players that are going to continue to grow with us, but sometimes you got to go out and get some sure things to help you expedite that growth. So we tried to go out and get some sure things and we were excited that we were able to. Two more questions. We'll go to um, Mark Schindler. Go ahead, Mark. Uh, T, I wanted to ask you, especially with Ryan now coming into year three, like we talked about, um, she got some coaching under her belt, you know, this year. Uh <laughs> Obviously, I know you guys haven't been able to fully get into it yet, but what are you most excited about from seeing with her this year? What have conversations been like headed, headed into this year? Yeah, I think Dan just alluded to it, just the hunger. Um, I think having a taste of, of postseason last year, I think Ryan's coming in with a different type of mentality and a different a different hunger. Um, you know, she talked about not wanting to be swept. And so obviously that's still sitting with her. Um, and so I think that's important for a player like Ryan because we know Ryan is a generational talent. And I think if if she shows up with that type of mindset, it, it kind of permeates with, within the team. Um, so I'm really looking forward to to that hunger and that competitiveness for this next season. Awesome. Thank you both. Go ahead, Megan. Megan? Hey, this question is for, yep. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, awesome. Um, Coach, this question is for you. Uh, one of the things that you talked about at the end of last season was wanting to grow as a coach. Um, now that you've had time to kind of sit and reflect on last season, was there anything like resounding or insightful that you came away with about, you know, how you can be better as a coach or things that you even thought that you did well last season? Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> continuing to learn and continue to grow is always going to be on the forefront of that. So um, not just settling for things that went well, like, looking at opportunities where we can grow as a team. So I think this off season, I spent some time on how, how to build out our offense a little bit better. Um, so teams can have to adjust to us a little bit differently. That was really, really important to me. Um, in terms of things that I think, I think I did well, I don't know, just like managing, like 
all the different personalities, right? And so now we have more personalities on this team. So just continuing to figure out how to um, make sure that our team stays connected, our our team um, has a new like feel into it. Um, all those things I think are really important for for my growth as a as a HC. Promises is lost, Michael. One more question. Yeah, thanks for for taking one more. Um, Coach Wright, this is for you. We we've seen with Ariel Powers some really big highs in her career, and then she's had other times when she's struggled. And I just wonder, as somebody who played the game for so long, how do you think you can sort of help bring out the best in Ariel and kind of a little bit of a fresh start for her now with Atlanta? Yeah, just confidence. Um, showing her that we that we have confidence in her. We believe in Ariel. We we went after her for a reason. Um, we, we like Ariel's skill set. We like what she brings from a competitive nature, from an energy nature. Um, Ariel has so many different um, gifts and abilities um, and assets that she can bring to a team. So insinuating those things, you know what I mean? We're not worried about the lows of her career. I think, you know, we're going to we're going to pour into to AP and let her know that, you know, we believe in the things, what she brings to the table and what she does well. That's exactly what we need her to be doing. And so we're really looking forward to her bringing that edge, bringing that competitiveness and bringing the energy and being able to just work through work through the rest. Like basketball is a, is a game of ups and downs, right? Seasons are has ebbs and flows. So she may hit a stunt, stunt this coming year and that's OK. You know what I mean? Continue to work through that and show her that that we have the confidence that she can be she can be really good for this team. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for their time. We look forward to seeing you at the Gateway Center Arena in football. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everyone.